Houseplants are notoriously easy to take care of. A little sunlight, a little water every second day, and plants basically take care of themselves. But what if you had to feed your favorite plant a piece of meat every day to keep it happy? That's right, we're talking killer plants with rows of teeth and a massive appetite. So which plants should we avoid growing in the garden? What kinds of animals can be taken down by a carnivorous plant? And could they ever kill a human? Probably the most famous of all the carnivorous plants is Dionea mashipula, or the Venus flytrap. You can find this vicious vegetable in the subtropic wetlands of North and South Carolina in the United States, and you might be surprised how it got its exotic name. For years, it was called a tippity twitchet, a slang reference to, hum, lady parts. Yep, yeah, that's right. For a while there, there was a plant with a name that literally meant scarf vagina. Obviously, that name was way too vulgar for early colonial America. And so, in 1759, North Carolina Governor Arthur Dobbs named the organism the Fly Trap Sensitive. Yeah, you can see how popular that name would be. By 1768, it was renamed again, this time to the familiar Venus Flytrap, after Venus, the Roman goddess of love. Ah, how romantic! Small amounts of a thick sugary nectar are secreted around the Venus flytrap's rim, the perfect feed for a hungry passerby. Each Venus flytrap also has six tiny hairs pointing straight up that act as a tripwire for potential prey. When a hair is triggered, a chemical timer begins, priming ion channels within the plant's structure to act at a second's notice. If a second hair is triggered within 20 seconds, this counts as confirmation of prey, and a chemical chain reaction begins inside the Venus flytrap, swinging close the mouth and trapping its prey. This elaborate tripwire timer solution helps prevent false alarms like raindrops or falling leaves from triggering the trap to close. So when a fly, spider, or any other insect clumsily walks into the waiting mouth of a Venus flytrap, it's lights out. But it's once the mouth of a Venus flytrap swings shut that the nightmare for any trapped prey truly begins. Almost immediately, powerful digestive enzymes begin secreting from the inside of the Venus flytrap, dissolving and absorbing the captured meal. And while it may be in the name, flies actually only account for around 5% of a Venus flytrap's diet. They're actually not very picky. They'll eat anything that walks right into their mouth. Dinner can include anything from hornets, spiders, snails, slugs, and even frogs. Talk about home-delivered meals! Another plant that spends its spare time devouring unsuspecting animals is none other than the bladderwort, two words that are already disgusting enough together. Found all over the world, the bladderwort is officially known as Utricularia, or little bag in Latin, and the name makes a lot of sense. On the branches of this aquatic plant are tiny bladder-like bags that double as prey traps. When not in use, these bladders are empty, and a negative pressure differential exists within the space. Tiny hairs line the entrance to the trap door, and when tiny swimming insects like fleas or water lice get too close, the trap door swings open, sucking water into the bladder at 4 meters per second. The speed of that strike means that bladderworts are officially the fastest plants on the planet. It doesn't look like there's a shortage of food either. You could say it's a veritable flea market. Once inside the bladder, prey is slowly dissolved, digested, and absorbed into nutrients to grow the plant and make more bladders. Time to get out of the water, kids! Australia is known for its unforgiving landscapes, extreme temperatures, and the worrying knowledge that every animal is probably trying to kill you. So you'll be pleased to know, it's not just the animals that have a taste for flesh, even the plants are homicidal maniacs. We're talking, of course, about Drosera, or the sundew plant. While you can find Drosera on every continent bar Antarctica, the vast majority of the at least 194 species can be found in Australia and New Zealand. The sundew employs a rather dastardly trick to lure, snare, and then digest its prey. 
Running up and down the length of Drosera's tentacles are these fine stalks topped with a ball of sticky sweet mucilage excreted from the peduncular glands. It might taste sweet, but this mucilage holds a very deadly secret. When a hungry fly, aphid, or ant stumbles into a waiting sundew's tentacle, the tentacle reacts instantly, curling inwards to make sure as many of the stalks are making as much contact with the prey's body as possible. The hapless insect becomes trapped, sticky mucilage quickly clogging their spiracles and suffocating them. The sundew plant then secretes esterase, peroxidase, phosphate, and other protease digestion enzymes to dissolve the prey and absorb the nutrients left over. This is one plant you probably best not touch. Pitcher plants grow in nutrient-poor soil and, as a result, have to find novel ways to get nitrogen and other handy nutrients for growth. They started by growing a distinctive cup and lid shape, often painted in bright waxy colors to attract prey. Then they coated the rim of their cup in a sweet waxy nectar that was equal parts irresistible and slippery. Added to the slimy coating is tiny ridges that are difficult to maintain a steady foothold, even in the millimeter-thin world of fly legs. Insects, spiders, and beetles are powerless to stop the inevitable slide into the waiting cup of the pitcher plant. What awaits the unfortunate prey at the bottom of the pitcher's cup is the worst and last swim they'll ever have. Falling prey become immersed in powerful digestive juices, which get to work immediately to dissolve and digest the prey while still alive. It's a horrific death, even if you somehow manage to drown straight away, being slowly eaten from the outside in. But it's not just bees and flies that end up swimming in the stomach of the world's hungriest plant. Every now and then, a small, curious animal finds itself victim of the oldest trick in the book. Pitcher plants have been found with half-digested frogs, lizards, and even rats in their stomach. Birds aren't safe either, and while it may take a while to dissolve a blue tit, give a pitcher plant enough time and it'll be ready for seconds. So, what everyone wants to know, are there carnivorous plants out there that are dangerous to humans? The short answer, no. Venus flytraps have the bite force of a paperclip and I'm yet to find a pitcher plant big enough to swallow a middle-aged, out-of-shape voice actor. So for now, breathe easy. But maybe, just in case, be nice to your houseplants. You'll never know when you need a leafy ally. And that's all we have time for today. Which carnivorous plant creeped you out the most? Will you eat a salad to assert dominance? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that big red button right now. See you next time.